Over the next 100 days, I'll be pouring my heart and soul into a single magnificent goal, constructing a cherry blossom house. As well as a beautiful home, I'll be building a serene garden, perfect relaxation, and a peaceful koi pond complete with a fishing dock, and maybe a few other adorable structures. So join me on this journey as we bring my vision to life one block at a time, and who knows where this adventure will take us. Good morning, everyone. Today is the beginning of another grand adventure. First things first, we need to find the perfect location for our new creation, ideally somewhere with a really nice view and plenty of space. Actually, I should probably grab some supplies before I head off because I literally have nothing right now. <laughs> I think it will be a good idea to take all of my spruce wood because I know I'm going to want to use a lot of spruce. Let's take a crafting table and a furnace and maybe shears and a bucket. And finally, I think taking some glass might be a good idea. And some chests. Finally, let's just grab a lot of this because I'm not going to have a massive farm at my new base. So I'm going to need as much food to last me a long time. <laughs> And finally, it's time to say goodbye to our puppy. You take care of the farm whilst I'm gone, okay? I will take that silence as a yes. Whilst this cherry blossom biome is literally so cool, it's just not the right space for this project. So I need to find another one. I spent the whole day searching for a new cherry blossom biome with absolutely no luck. So as the sun set, I thought it'd be best to set up camp and wait for the safety of morning. I know I have a bunch of blocks and could make an actual hut, but uh, dirt house it is. I uh, also forgot to bring a bed, so I've got a long time to stand here. Rise and shine. It is time to continue our search. I'm feeling a little tired, but nothing a piece of bread can't fix. I'm actually not hungry so i headed out and continued my search until just in the distance i spotted a vision of hope in the shape of some gorgeous pink trees finally there she is a cherry blossom grove man i hope it's a good location for our build though i'm kind of concerned about this uh snowy area but we'll see okay yeah i can see it i can see it we can put like the house up here and then do a pathway that comes to here and then i'll Okay, I am getting ahead of myself. I'm just looking at all of this forest and my mind is going crazy. But honestly, there is a lot of work to be done before I can start building anything. I'm gonna put all the materials that I bought over from the farm into this chest on the edge of this area, just so I have a nice empty bag to start all of this collecting. I wielded my axe for the rest of the day, tirelessly clearing the trees. Each swing marked my progress as the forest slowly became an open space. Okay, so I feel like we've made some great progress here, but I've now been awake for three days straight, so I need to locate a sheep as soon as possible to make a bed. Apparently there's one right here, but I need to find two of the same wool type to be able to make a bed. Oh, wait. Oh, no, because I need three. Now let's make that bed. And let's get back to clearing a space. Wait, no, I need to make a temporary base because my pockets are full again and I need the space. I'm going to make this little hut out of cherry wood just to get the vibe started. Um, it's not going to be very creative. It is just going to be a big pink box, but it'll be fine. I actually don't think I've ever seen a better base than this. Like this is genuinely probably the best thing I've ever built and maybe anyone ever has ever built. And let's give ourselves a nice door so that we are safe. Oh, you know what? Double doors. This is the fanciest house ever. And I'm just realizing I forgot to bring my torches over. So living life in the dark. Hopefully our actual cherry house will be a lot more impressive than this. Anyways, now let's clear some trees. No, I literally can't believe that the sun is setting already. I'm actually just being dramatic. I think that this is probably enough space that's been cleared already, but I will check it out again tomorrow with some fresh, well-rested eyes. Let's get to sleep. All right, day four. Let's see what we're working with. I think this area will be enough space for the house, and then I'll have my work cut out for me to terraform all of these areas for all the other builds I want to do, and that is something I am definitely looking forward to. <clears throat> Anyways, I think we can start laying the foundations for the house today. So let's start the foundations of the house about here. 
I do at least have these dirt blocks as markers for the general shape that I want to build though. And now let's dig out this entire floor. <laughs> at least this is much quicker since I enchanted my tools. Obviously this is just a rough outline but I think it looks great so far and it's all about taking it one step at a time. So next we're going to need some oak wood because as much as I'd love to use only cherry wood I do want some block variation in texture so let's head out and get some of that. And whilst I'm here I just as well grab some more spruce because I think I'm going to need a lot of it. I'm also not sure what this is. I think they're pine trees. Let's see. They are pine trees, uh, but we're not going to be using that. We are going to be using spruce instead. <laughs> okay, so I didn't sleep again. I should really start bringing a bed out with me. So I finished up collecting the spruce and then headed home. Okay, well, I severely underestimated how much oak I would need for this floor. Anyways, for now, let's start building up these walls. And now I'm just going to build these up. Barrel on top take some damage and strip these logs and now i'm just going to do that for all of these ones here basically anywhere there's a barrel there's going to be one of these towers of stripped spruce um i wish i had some sort of feather falling so that i could keep doing this and not taking damage but i'm also too lazy to get scaffolding or anything like that so i guess i will be taking damage at least stripping the wood is fun So now I can go into this carpenter's table and turn some of these cherry planks into something a little more interesting. Let's go for some of these. Oh, mm, I don't, I only want to craft one of these. Okay, nice. So we got some of those. And then let's also do, okay, this one. Let's look at these two blocks, make sure we want them to be our blocks of choice. Cute. Okay, yeah, I like those. So I'm thinking we do another layer of this type of plank, just the standard cherry plank, and then after that we'll go around and add a layer of maybe the fine planks. Man, look at the color of these blocks. Minecraft has needed this cute pink color for so long, and I'm surprised it took them so long to add it. Damn, the sun is starting to set, but I am determined to get these walls built, so I will keep going into the night if I have to. Let's build up a second and see what we're working with. Very cute. It's still not looking like much, but it will eventually. <laughs> that sun is going down too fast for my liking. Let's get this last layer of blocks done. I know this is really just the basics, but I think the house is going to really start to come together after we get this first floor done. Just a few more blocks and then we should be good. And there we go. The walls are up just in time for the moon to come out. So let's head to bed. I crafted up some fences last night, so I'm just going to add them to this little hole here and make a small window. And then I'm going to run around and do this to add some extra dimension to the house. I know it's such a tiny detail, but I feel like it's going to make quite the difference to the finished build. And as if, did I have, oh no, I'm, um, I thought I had got the exact amount. Oh wait, I literally have all of these walls. Never mind, I wasn't even close. Okay, so I made some alterations to the shape of the build and I think this looks a lot better now. It's not that much different, but um, just a little bit better. And I filled in the rest of the floor. The plan for today is to fill in this and make a temporary roof. I don't know if it's 100% necessary. Probably not. Um, but I do want to move in here as soon as possible. This obviously isn't going to look too hot right now. But until the house is finished, I need a lid on this thing. <laughs> and I'm certain the house will look awesome when it is finished. Let's make some torches out of charcoal because I don't have any coal and let's place them absolutely all over the inside of this place so we don't get any unwanted guests uh, now i'm thinking about it probably could have just left this temporary roof off and this wouldn't be a problem but here we are 
Let's also add in a door here and a door here so the scary guys can't get in. And now that's done, let's place our bed down, put a furnace and a crafting table. And oh my goodness, isn't this the most inviting bedroom ever? I will eventually move all the contents of this chest uh, somewhere else, but for now, Let's empty my pockets and set out for a few days of material collection. We'll need a lot more spruce and decorations to finish this whole build. So if we do a lot of the collecting now, we won't have to come back later. If there's anything I've learned in Minecraft, it's if you think you have enough blocks, you don't. So off I went with nothing but empty pockets and tools and food in my pockets. So not really empty pockets, but near enough empty pockets. Over the next couple days, I explored the nearby forest, collecting different types of wood and gathering stone from the mountains. I also delved into the nearby caves, collecting coal, iron, and even some precious diamonds. After gathering the essential materials, it was time to focus on the decorative items. I stumbled upon a lush meadow and collected a variety of pink, white, and red flowers, and then ventured on to find a jungle with a grove of tall, swaying bamboo. I'm gonna take a good amount of this because I think it'll fit the vibe of the area really well and I think I want to make a pond so a mix of bamboo and sugar cane would look awesome surrounding that. Wait, do you hear that? Oh my gosh, look, a little pink parrot. Hi. I don't think I have any seeds. Do you eat grape seeds? I think you eat wheat seeds. That's not good enough. Hopefully it'll accept my offering of four seeds. Okay, three. Three was enough. I have a pet parrot. As a result of my journey, my inventory was filled with beautiful blocks and decorations ready to transform the cherry house and prepare for the other builds. I think it's time for a nap. All right, it is day 11 and time to set the foundation for the second floor of the house. I'm thinking it's gonna be a bit thinner or less wide than the bottom part of the house. So let's continue placing these cherry planks and get a foundation laid. I'm kind of glad that I did this dirt roof thing because it means that I've got less, um, less chance of falling and dying. I'm just copying the design that I did on the bottom half of the house because obviously that makes sense to do that and hopefully this will be a great foundation for the second floor i should probably mention this isn't going to be the second floor i think the second floor will be much much bigger than this but this is the foundation and just a few more blocks and we are done with this part so i added more of these spruce pillars and i'm just adding some barrels to the bottom of them for extra detail and there we go. I can't wait to start building up from here. I just said I can't wait, but with that all set, I'm kind of going to hit pause on the house for a second. I wish I had a real reason for this, but this part here is just asking for a pond and I really want to get started on it. And I've just been thinking about it the whole time since I mentioned building a pond when I was in the jungle. So <laughs> here we are. This area needs some serious shaping, so I'm glad I at least have efficiency too on this shovel, but... I feel like I kind of need better. Oh man, the sun's going down. That means I have to go to bed soon. Damn it. I was going to say at least I have a cozier setup to sleep now, but I'm not sure this is cozier than the little house I was in. Woo, good morning. We can get back to digging out the pond today. I'm envisioning a nice deep pond with a gentle slope leading into it. And I just know this is going to be such a relaxing spot when it's done. The plan is to make it deep enough for the fish to swim freely and then add some plants and stuff around the edges for a natural look. I'm calling it a koi pond, but I'm pretty certain there are no koi fish in Minecraft, even with the mods I'm using. So let's pretend that the fish I find are koi. Anyways, let's keep digging. And keep digging I did. With each shovel of dirt, the pond took shape and I became too engrossed in the task to notice the passing hours. My parrot companion stayed close, enjoying his time out in the fresh air, and I think he approved of my work. I have no idea why he isn't eating these seeds. For days, I shaped the pond and the surrounding areas with care, ensuring everything flowed seamlessly into the landscape. I wanted to add levels to the area, and this was a great way to achieve that. Phew, that was a lot of work. It actually doesn't look like that much, but it was a lot. However, seeing the progress makes it all worth it. So with that being said, let's head to bed and then we can make it look more like a pond tomorrow. Maybe I'll dream about the finished build. I think it's now day 16. Wow, does time fly in this game. Today, I'm going to line the pond with some gravel and whatnot to make it look more... 
a dynamic? I don't know if that's the right word, but basically more interesting than just dirt. Let's mine some of these lovely blocks. So I'm just going to cover this whole thing with gravel basically and when I add the water it should help it look super clear and crisp. Hopefully then the fish are super happy in my pond and don't even realise I'm holding them captive. With love of course. Phew. And we are done. Okay so now that's all done. Naturally the next thing to do is fill it up with water. And after this thing is filled up we can bone meal the floor and it will make lots of seagrass and it'll look super cute. Yay it looks so good with water in there I'm so happy with that. On to day 18 and it seems like when I went searching for decorations the other day I missed some important things for the pond. I have absolutely nothing to decorate it with apart from this bamboo. So we should probably head out and find some lily pads kelp and maybe some sea pickles these are gonna look so cute in the pond i think i should collect some vines too after navigating my way out of the swamp and a few miles of grassy fields i finally reached the clear vibrant waters of the warm ocean and look at that let's dive in and get ourselves some pickles oh and also try not to drown in the process what a lovely view of the sunset uh, but that does also mean we need to head back super soon. So I need to speed up with this process. <laughs> what is this thing? I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. Okay, we got some coal. Thank you very much. <gasps> and we actually need some more food. That's great. Oh, but we don't have any wood to make a crafting bench. Anyways, and a luck of the sea fishing rod. How lucky is that? I, uh... I think this is my cue to leave. And with my backpack packed with pickles, I made my long trek back home. Backpack packed with pickles. Try saying that three times. I got home around midday on day 20, so I quickly got to work on placing the decorations before the sun started to set again. Oh no, I just realized I forgot to get sugar cane. Hmm, okay, I feel like I remember seeing some down here earlier. Oh, there it is. This sugar cane is also gonna be like purely decorative um so that's why i'm placing a couple maybe i should wait for them to be three because then i can make them taller than three if you know what i mean like like this one's already tall and then like i can do this and make them even taller so that there is a good amount of height differences then i can just fill in a couple of these areas with the bamboo and eventually they'll grow tall and i can put some string on them to also get the same effect with the different uh the different levels of height <laughs> Oh, and that sun is setting. Let's head out and finish this pond. I'm actually pretty excited to see this pond area completely done. Uh, let's add some sea pickles here. Let's add bone meal to the ground and get this floor covered in seagrass to bulk it all out. And I've got some lily pads left over, so we just as well use all of them up. I think they'll give the fish some nice little spots to swim around and under. And finally, let's finish decorating the edge of the pond with our sugar cane and just one final touch a cute little boat i am literally so happy with this this is like the cutest pond i've ever built day 22 is all about gathering the materials we need for the fishing dock so i've headed into the forest to collect some more spruce i know i've already collected a lot but i do not want to run out when i'm building the house i've at least got my parrot flying alongside me to keep me company though as i drop down all of these trees he is such a good boy i need to give him a name actually Tell me what you'd name him in the comments. I think I've got enough, so let's turn some of this stuff into planks, probably two of these, and let's craft up some materials for the dock build. I'm gonna use these benches for the actual dock itself. I feel like it would make really cute, like, you know what I mean? Then we're gonna need a bunch of stairs for the roof of the fishing hut, and probably, some fences <laughs> that might be enough so i spent the evening preparing my inventory for the dock build just managing to get a quick nap in before the long day ahead of me day 23 was spent building the fishing dock i began by laying out the fences as a foundation creating a sturdy base that extends out over the water then i started placing the benches forming the main platform of the dock i added railings along the side and a small hut to store all of my fished up treasures and by the end of the day the structure was complete and looked like the perfect spot for some peaceful fishing and that's a wrap for today I'm super happy with it so far. See you all tomorrow for some... Oh my god. I 
was so focused on the build. I didn't even see this guy. Anyways, see you all tomorrow. Ah, oh, they're everywhere to add some detailing to the build. Good morning, everyone. Let's get right into adding these details to the dock and see where we end up. So first things first, I'm just going to add some barrels around the place because obviously we're going to need places to store our fish and whatnot. Uh, but in reality, these are just being placed for aesthetic reasons. Now let's add some lighting to this dock because we don't want it getting too dark on here at night. They add such a nice warm glow to everything. Let's put one inside. And actually, since the dock is made of these benches, I can actually just sit on the dock. How cute is that? I can just see myself sitting here watching the sunset over the pond since the sunset's over here. That's perfect. I actually have these other barrels that move out the way, please. Thank you. They have little gaps in between, so it feels less full. You know what I mean? Less closed in. Uh, but I do need to make three more of those. <laughs> can never have too much storage. Okay, this pond area has really come together nicely now. It's got everything we need for the perfect fishing spot. Do parrots eat fish? I don't think so. Actually, speaking of which, I said we have everything for a nice fishing spot, but we don't have any fish. So now is probably a good time to grab some buckets and some fish. Probably a good idea to make up some more buckets because I only have three with me, I think. Let me go check the other chest. Okay, yep. No buckets. I've just realized how ridiculous the house looks at the moment. We will get back to that eventually. <laughs> Probably don't need to turn all of that into buckets though. Uh, actually, it needs to be smelted anyway. So let's make some more buckets and head out to get some fish. Oh, actually the, the sun is setting. So I think I'll wait till tomorrow to go out and do that just to play it safe. So finally on day 25, I set out to find some fish. What is going on here? Why are there so many bees? I'm here for fish, not bees though. Let's grab some salmon. Oh, or try to. Let me have you. There you go. And another one. Let's grab some of these. Are these cod? Two of those. Okay, I feel like we can do better than salmon and cod. Once I got home, I introduced all the fish to the pond. I released the variety of fish into the water and watched as they explored their new home. I really hope they love it in there. Oh my god, I just realized fish despawn if they're not named, right? I don't know, but I don't want to risk it, so I'm going to pick all these fish back up and name them. Luckily, I came across this structure that had an anvil inside because I forgot mine. I think this is part of the meadow mod. Let's name this one Bill, this one Bob. John, Polly, Holly, <laughs> uh, Molly, <laughs> and finally this one, uh, William. So we have Bill, Bob, John, Polly, Holly, Molly, and William. That was a great use of like 10 levels. With the pond fully stocked, I took a moment to sit on the dock and admire the view. The pond and fishing dock together created a perfect picturesque scene that I knew would complement the area. Before the sun fully sets, let's have a go in our pond and see what we can catch. Hello? Gonna try one more time because I'm not sure what just happened. And there we go. We have our first fish from our pond. Now let's head to bed before we get caught by something scary out here. Welcome to day 26. Today we're going to get to work on a gazebo. But before we start laying down blocks, there's a bit of terraforming we have to tackle. So I think today, sadly, we're going to have to say goodbye to our first little hut here just because I need this space. Uh, but I'm not going to break the chest just yet because that's something I don't want to deal with right now. And let's clear this area of dirt. Terraforming is always a bit of a workout, but I can already see the vision coming together. Just going to make sure everything is perfect, ready for our gazebo. I think actually I'm going to add a cute zen garden surrounding it too, so I need to account for that. 
Now that's done, I can mark an area for the foundation. I've obviously pretty much already marked the area for the foundation by leaving this middle grass bit. And then I'm not really sure what I'm doing with these stairs, but do I want it to look like that or do I want it to look like that? I feel like definitely like that, but then maybe like this? No, that looks weird. I feel like it's meant to be like that. Okay, no, I figured out. I need to take out the corner thing here and replace that with a slab. That looks so much better. I started placing fences with some wooden supports and once that was done, I for some reason got distracted by an idea that I just had to deal with right away. Ooh, I was just thinking, I've seen people use coral fans as decor and I think it could work so good in this area, either in the water or like a rug type look when I actually get around to adding stuff. So I have to go back to that warm ocean right now and get some. So off I went back to the ocean. I traveled for a couple days and on day 29, I spotted a shipwreck in the distance. My curiosity peaked, so I dove into the clear waters, eager to explore the wreckage. I really hope there's something cool in here. Boo, we don't want any of that. Actually, I do want this coal and the potatoes and preferably not to drown. Oh my God, a treasure map. Okay, cool. I'll also take these books. Ah, let's get out of here. All right, so this just got interesting. I will go search for the treasure, but I warn you, I am terrible with directions. And I just remembered I came here to get coral, but I can't even get coral without silk touch. So I guess this is what we're doing now. So now absolutely distracted from the building, I hid in a hole overnight and waited for sunrise. I feel like my parrot friend here is the perfect companion for this journey. I wonder if he was out searching for treasure before he met me. I still don't have any name tags, but I think I'm, hello, there he is. <laughs> I think I'm gonna name him Marley. I think that's a good name, right? I'm uh, pretty sure I've been here before. Day 33 found us exploring dense forests and scaling rugged mountains as we attempted to follow the map. Despite my best efforts, I still managed to veer off course, much to Marley's amusement. Marley, don't laugh at me, we're lost again. Okay, I'm lost. Um, I wish you could fly up there and tell me where to go. On day 34, we found ourselves at the edge of some open plains, with the scorching sun beating down on us as we hoped for a clue that we were getting close. I once again found myself doubling back thanks to my failed sense of direction. Finally, on day 35, our perseverance paid off as the map revealed an arrow and I could actually see where I was going. See, I told you we'd get here eventually, Marley. Right, well, I'm on the X. What? Where is this chest? Nothing in this game is ever simple, is it? <gasps> and there it is. Let's see what we've got. Okay, got some emeralds. Those will come in handy. We've got these iron ingots. Always need more iron. Probably don't need TNT. What is this? <gasps> Water breathing. That's helpful. And I have no idea what this is. Heart of the sea. My mind has gone blank. What is that for? I don't know, probably important for something though, and I'm sure it will come in handy eventually. Maybe for my next project. Despite my questionable sense of direction, I'd say that was a pretty successful side mission. Now let's get the heck home. Okay, well, I am lost again. After once again becoming disoriented, I finally stumbled upon familiar surroundings and made it back home. Oh my goodness, am I glad to be home. I'm surprised I actually made it. And since we've still got a few hours left of the day, let's finish the job we were doing before we disappeared. Okay, good morning, everyone. It is day 40. After the crazy adventure of finding that treasure yesterday, today is all about resting and getting back on track. The journey is a little bit of a trek, so it's not really a rest, but it's worth it to save time collecting food. All right, now we're here. Let's gather up a nice variety of foods. Maybe some wheat, some carrots, some potatoes, the meat. I really want to make sure I'm well stocked for whatever comes next. Okay, I think that's good. So let's make our way home. We'll pick up where we left off tomorrow with the bills, but for now, let's get some well-deserved rest. So before the treasure hunt, we were working on the gazebo. After the journey back to my other home, 
I realized I should probably get this cherry blossom house in order before I continue the side projects. I need somewhere cozy to cook and sleep and store my things. I can't keep living like this. So here we are on day 41 and I'm finally going to focus on the exterior walls of this house. So first I'm just going to do a little border of spruce around here. And now I have the lovely task of going around and stripping it all. I'm just going to run around and place these stairs to add some details to this level. I've just added a second layer of the stripped spruce there and now I've got to very slowly go around this whole thing with these stairs to add more dimension. There has to be an easier way to do this. Oh, that's not correct. Ooh, and there we go. Let's make sure to leave some space for some large windows for lots of natural light here. And hopefully we'll be able to look out of these and see all of the other builds. Now let's start placing all of these cherry blocks. I'm going for a mix of herringbone and the fine plank cherry blocks for a bit of contrast and to also follow the pattern of the first floor. And there we go, the walls are up. It's still looking a little bit funky, but I think it looks great if I do say so myself. All that's left to do for now is to add windows. I do have these modded windows, which I think are super cute, but I'm not sure they fit the vibe of the house. So I'm thinking that using fences to create a more like open window, I don't really know how to describe it, but I just think it looks better like this. All right, that is the last of the windows in. All of the accents are really starting to bring this thing together and I can't wait to see how this looks when it's finished. Man, it all looks so cute right now, but the house still looks so goofy down here. For the next couple of days, I focused on the roof of the Cherry Blossom house. I used some custom modded blocks, so it took a while to get the hang of, but I was sure it would turn out great regardless. Wow, it is crazy how much difference having a roof makes. This house literally looks so awesome. What do you think, Marley? He definitely said, um, this is the best house I've ever seen in my entire life. I promise. Okay, day 44 and it is balcony time. I'm gonna add a little balcony to the side of the house so that I can get those perfect sunrise and sunset views. I'm using these cherry horse fences for the railings to keep the theme consistent and obviously it just looks cute as heck. I can't wait to step out here and see everything once it's done. It is a shame that I can't quite see the pond from here though, but... Stuff that's here is going to look great. I think that whilst I'm all the way up here, I'm just going to fill in this level so that there is a floor for me to work on when I do end up doing the interior of this place. I'm just thinking once I've done this, I'm actually not sure I'm going to get down. I guess I could use this. I'll just have to make sure to leave that bit till last. <laughs> This way I can also get back up here later. <laughs> so I think today I'm going to make this little area here a animal pen because I'm running out of food again. I know we went back to the farm to get stuff but I've not planted anything so it'll be good if we can get some animals in here. First let's place some of these fences to make sure it is nice and secure when we do put animals in here. I'm using more of this cherry wood detail stuff. Um, please act surprised. This is a very pink build. <laughs> Minecraft really popped off when they added these blocks though because I've been needing some of these nice baby pink blocks forever. I've still made those one too high. Oh, and it looks like we already have our first... I was going to say victim, but that sounds so horrible. <laughs> Come with me, nice sheep. And enter your new home. I'll bring you some friends soon. <laughs> Okay, now that's done, we've got to figure out a roof situation. Took me long enough to do this kind of roof. Not a clue what I'm going to do down here. Oh, look, more sheep. Ah! Oh my gosh, I thought, it ah! I thought it was the parrot making those zombie noises. Not an actual baby zombie. Oh my goodness. And also this guy needs to go. Okay, I don't know where the other sheep went, but wait. Oh, it's there. Okay, I thought it had gotten out. Come with me. Welcome home. Welcome home. Have a baby. 
Oh, and there's the other one. Okay, that sun is starting to go down, so I need to hurry it up if I want to get this done before the day ends. And this should be the final step, if I could place them the right way around. Oh, damn it. I forgot I had to do this front bit here, too. Or, like, technically the side bit, but the front bit of the barn. There we go. I think that works. For now at least. Also real quick I just want to add these feeding troughs because I want it to have a super cute vibe although I don't really know. Maybe just there and here will do. <laughs> Marley's probably wondering why he doesn't have his own spot yet. Maybe I'll do that later. Day 46 was all about the final details. I collected up a bunch of cherry leaves and then draped the roofs with them. These finishing touches are making the house look so cute. Today, let's add some flower beds. I've got a bunch of pink, red, and white flowers to go with our cherry blossom theme. I think the red clashes a little bit too much. That's better, um, but this is not better. If you could go away, that would be great. Now I'm just gonna add the same kind of flower beds here. Oh, should I make them a bit longer? Maybe I'll do these bigger. Yep, that looks cute. I think having one in each of these things would be too much. And now I think I'm gonna add some bushes for some extra details. You can never have too many leaves as decoration. Maybe you can, this looks like too much. Let me get rid of those. Okay, I think all that's left to do is to plant a few trees to frame the house and also to replace all of the ones I've chopped down for this build so far. Okay, I lied. I actually need to put a bunch of lighting around here, so let's do that. Why is this guy not mad at me? Is he stuck? Anyways, not complaining. <laughs> I think maybe chain and then a lantern and then another lantern might look cute. Hopefully now there will be less scary boys showing up. But oh my goodness, does this look great. Doesn't it just feel so good when you've been working on something for ages and it finally comes together? I then spent the next couple of days adding some pathways to the house and I also decided to absolutely cover the area in grass and flowers because I thought the sort of overgrown look would be more of a vibe. And here we are, day 50. Halfway through this challenge and we've completed our main house. What a perfect outcome. But here it is, the grand reveal. We have the balcony. We have a little animal pen. All these cute details. And some lovely planters. This place looks incredible. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but I really couldn't be happier with how this turned out. But we are not completely done with this build yet because this is what the inside looks like. I think for the rest of today, I'm gonna make a staircase so I can actually get up to the second floor. I think this is where I want like the midway to be because this is such a tall house because obviously up through here is uh, another floor. I'm gonna need a little, little middle thing here, a little middle floor. Otherwise the stairs are gonna look ridiculous. Ah! Okay, maybe we won't go back up there. <laughs> Let's get these stairs put in. Hopefully I've started from the right spot here and we end off perfectly at our platform. And would you look at that? I must be a genius or something. Let's add some railings to these stairs for safety. We don't want to be falling off of here. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to see what the situation is. Whew, wish me luck. Oh, that's not so bad. Oh, that is bad. That is bad. That is bad. That is bad. Oh, no. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was bad. No, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, uh, where's the silver lining on this? They have made me some holes for the stairs to come through eventually. I cannot believe that just happened. Okay, so we currently only have 15 of these blocks to fix this floor, but that is fine. <laughs> Okay, now that's nice and safe. And I think I'm actually going to extend this area here out. So there's like a halfway floor here. 
because then I think I can turn this into maybe a storage area or something. I don't know. I've got a lot of space inside this house and genuinely not a lot of things to put in it. And then maybe this and this and this and this and this and this. Oh, <laughs> as if I ran out. Anyways, I think that'll be good. You know, I can put a bunch of chests and stuff up here and it will look awesome. Let's get some sleep in this big empty room for one last night, ready to transform this space tomorrow. Okay, so today is interior day. I cannot wait to get rid of this living situation. So first things first, I need to plan out the areas and I think I'm going to make this space a really cozy living room with like a fireplace and stuff. So that'll be sweet. And then this area here will be a kitchen and then... We'll see what room we have at the end. Obviously, I already mentioned the storage space here. And I think this is going to be the bedroom, which is absolutely massive. So not sure what I'm going to do with that. And there is technically another floor up there. So let's grab some of these patterned planks and start marking rooms out. I think this whole thing can be a kitchen because then I can fit a little dining table in here. I'm not sure what to do with this area, but I'm thinking if I sort of block it off when you come in it's like not immediately like oh my god hi big open space here very empty so we can do something with this little corner eventually but right now <laughs> it's gonna be empty marley's probably wondering where his little perch is gonna go <laughs> so i think with the rest of the day i'm actually just gonna move all of this stuff up to the bedroom is there stuff in here <gasps> there is oh yeah i forgot i put stuff on to cook oops Okay, this is the temporary uh, storage situation. I mean, I think it will stay like that, at least these ones, but I will do something better with these. So I'm just going to empty all of my pockets, then run down to my other chest, collect up all of these, and then you get the idea. Once my storage had all been moved, I prepared some decor to work with for the next day and headed to bed, still in the big empty room. Good morning, everyone. Today, we're diving right into the living room build. So first, let's add a big comfy couch here. Now I'm just going to break these blocks here so that I can put the wall blocks under them because I'm going to put down carpet. But obviously, carpet can't go underneath these, uh, these chairs. So got to do that and then do a rug like this. You can actually sit on these chairs. Isn't that cool? Oh, and apparently you can walk right through them. <laughs> I need to put down the coffee table, so let's do that. I'm really sad because unfortunately these are like a slab block, so I can't put stuff on top of it without it like floating on top. Now let's put up some shelves behind here. I absolutely love this. Spruce planks parapet. Don't know if that's how you say it, but these things are great and I'm probably going to use them in every single build ever. Now I'm quickly going to craft up a couple of these pots. So the reason I love these parapet things, I think they're meant to be for like the roof or something. I actually have no idea. I don't know what a parapet is. And although it kind of hangs off, it's better than a whole slab to get a shelf, if you know what I mean. And then we can obviously put in a flower. I wonder if those go in there. <gasps> they do. Okay, very nice. Um, and then you can also put lanterns and picture frames on there. So let me go get a picture frame. So to make one of these picture frames here, we need one stick there and then a slab here and a slab here. And then take the white wall and we have another picture frame. Let's go. And then you can just obviously put them on the shelf. The next day, I decided to add some warmth to the living room, figuratively and literally. I built a brick fireplace in front of the sofa and of course added a campfire in the center. I then added some extra decorations like fire logs and some plants and a few paintings on the walls. I think to make this bit here look better, I'm going to get rid of these stairs here and then fill that in like that. Yeah, OK, that looks a lot better. And I should probably add the stairs back in here. Oh, and I should probably fix this bit under the table. Completely forgot about that. Much better. Okay, I think that is a really good living room setup. All that's left to do is add a light. So let's I think this is the middle. I think this is fine. Oh, that is actually a really nice cozy living room. I could sit here all day, I think. On day 54, I started work on the kitchen and I decided to use these custom cabinets from the Farmer's Delight mod because obviously they are super duper cute. And I also have these 
other war cabinets that are not from the Farmer's Delight mod. I can't remember where these ones are from, but they are super cute also. And I think this is the perfect spot by the window for a sink. Oh, and also let's add a little rug. You know, like when you're standing at the sink and everything gets all wet and suddenly you're surrounded by water. That's a rug to soak that up. And it wouldn't be a kitchen without a stove. So let's put a stove right in here. Very cute. And then if we take out this, maybe put another one of those there. I think that a trap door, oops, a trap door would make a good hood. It, it's not the best, but you know, it's like, oh, I'm not cooking. Let me put the hood up. Let me put it down, you know? And finally, let's add a light. And then let's craft up some chairs. I think this is the correct craft. Yep. And then we want a few tables. I think it's like this. Maybe not. Maybe more like this. There we go. So let's move my bed out of the way <laughs> and add this dining table. Where do we want to put it? One, two, three. Yeah, I think that's good. Now let's add more of these parapet things, whatever they mean. That is out of line, but let's just add another thing to that. I think that looks good. It kind of like widens the room a bit. There we go. Offset always looks better. Then let's add these plants. Very cute. Maybe a nice big painting here. And of course we need to add another one of these lights, but the problem is we can't really find the center of this room. So I think I'm just gonna put it here and pretend it's the center. Oh, that, that actually looks quite a bit off center. Let me try this one. Okay, yeah, that looks a lot better. Day 55 was spent furnishing the bedroom. I started by laying down some cozy wool carpets and building a comfy bed. Unfortunately, there wasn't a good center for a double bed, so I had to stick with a single. I added a bunch of storage and a couple bedside tables with some lamps on either side. And on day 56, I finished up the decor by hanging a couple paintings and placing some flower pots and extra lighting around the room. And I obviously couldn't forget a little perch for Marley right on the balcony so he can enjoy the view. I'm actually gonna move Marley's perch down a little bit because I feel like it was too high for him. That looks better. I also need to add a little bit more to this bedroom because although it looks super cute, it's missing something. I think I'm gonna add some more of this spruce. Um, and I do actually want to strip this. <laughs> And then I have more of these trim things, which I think will just fill the space nicely and make it look a bit, bit more interesting. And add one of those there, one of these here, and let's do the same on the other side. There we go. Let's add these in. And we are looking super cute. It's still missing something though, right? A lot of brown. Oh, these are so good. I love those. Maybe a couple on here. <gasps> oh, love those. Anyways, um, what I was thinking was, if I can reach, there we go. I'm gonna add like a little canopy over the bed. Is that what it would be called? I don't know. I wanted to do like a, you know, like a princess thing, but I don't really have any good flowy curtains for that because Minecraft isn't really known for being very flowy, you know? Now, if I just add these. And change out these blocks for these wall blocks. I think that looks super cute. So the bedroom is now technically done, but there is a huge empty space here. So we're gonna have to figure out something to put here eventually, but it is nighttime. So let's head to bed in- I almost completely forgot, one second. Let me take this and hang my precious Heart of the sea in the middle of my headboard. Still no idea what it does. Anyways, now that the main rooms are done, I think I should get this storage area sorted. I really should get a builder's uniform at this point. I'm doing all of this work with no safety equipment at all. Get me a hard hat. Call health and safety. I've never been organized in Minecraft or real life, really, but maybe if I have a storage room, I can at least attempt to be tidy. I completely forgot that those chests had stuff in. <laughs> Let's try this again. So since there isn't really a good, like even thing I can do here, I think this might be the best option. It's not gonna look too cute, but it'll do the job. 
So I spent the rest of day 57 making chests and organizing them. <laughs> okay, because the storage room is so ugly, I've decided to wall it off. It's really bad in here, but I've got more decorating to do elsewhere. <laughs> On day 58, I wasn't actually sure what to do next, but then I noticed an area lacking some decor, so I thought making a little study nook would be perfect. I think every good house needs a quiet spot to plan future adventures, right? I also have this other style of book stack, but this one is you just place it once and then it gives you a random one. I'm not sure if you can... No, I don't think you can. I want one. Yeah, like that. That's cool. Um, I've got these pillar trim things just to make it look more interesting here. And I've also got this, which I think will fill in this dead space nicely. Almost forgot the plant pots. Cute. Oh, wait. I also have a hanging plant. Do I put it right here? I don't know. Yeah, that looks cute. Probably move that out the way though. <laughs> Let's add some daisies. Oh, that looks super, super cute. Maybe we could put a picture here. What else have we got? Okay, that works. I like that. The pinks are in there. And I would say that's a pretty successful area. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need light, obviously. And there we go. This is the perfect spot to relax and read up on enchantments and uh, crafting recipes. If that was something I could do in Minecraft. I almost forgot. My kitchen needs a fridge. There we go. And now I can put my cooked meats in there. Although I... Mm, no, I'll be fine. I was going to say I should keep them because I'm running low on food, but I've got these baked potatoes and who doesn't love a plain baked potato? Once that was done, I took the opportunity to get an early night and headed to sleep in my new cozy bedroom. And then on day 59, I went around adding some final touches to all the rooms to make this place feel like a home and made sure everywhere was well lit. This is relaxing Minecraft. We don't want to deal with the scary guys, especially not in our home. And here we are, day 60, and the house is completely decorated, and I am so happy with how it turned out. I ended up making the doorway into this sort of porch area because I thought it just felt too closed off before. And then we come in, and it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna cook my dinner, I guess. And oh, I've got some reading to catch up on. <laughs> Oh, and I'm done here. I did, actually should probably add another light here, but anyways. Oh, and my dinner's ready. <laughs> Let's uh, take a seat and eat my dinner. And now dinner's done. Let's relax in the living room and watch our never changing TV. And oh, would you look at that time? It's nighttime. Not really. Let's go up to bed. Woo! Okay, really had no idea what to do in this space. So pretend that is not a space, please. Thank you. And also the ugly storage room, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> the last thing I want to do today is add more animals to the pen. So let's go on a little search. Oh, wait, I don't have anything to lure them with. One second. Okay, I'm really sorry, pig, but I really want this cow in my pen first. So I will come back for you. Don't worry. Oh, hello. I guess I that is... A very scary looking sheep. Why does it look like that? All right, come on in, meet your new family. Phew, what a roller coaster, but we are still not done yet. We still have to finish off this gazebo area. And I'm also gonna make a nether portal thing here and an enchanting room here. For the next couple of days, we're gonna be focusing on gathering some more materials for the gazebo and garden area. We're gonna need a bunch of leaves and some decorative blocks. So off I went for the day, collecting up some leaves and finding materials for the build. <gasps> oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, it's so cute. I wish I had a bucket with me. Oh, I guess that one can stay in the wild. Okay, I think we're actually good to go home. There's a couple more things I have to craft when I get home, but we should be good to go tomorrow and finish off the gazebo. Okay, let's get this gazebo finished. First things first, I want to finish laying the foundation for the gazebo. I mean, it's already laid, but I want to change this outer area to the moss blocks that I got. Good morning to you too, sir. I know it doesn't really make that much difference, but I do think the details are important. Nice. Literally just had enough to do that. Once the base of the gazebo was done, I got to work on the roof. I decided to just use cherry blossom leaves instead of solid blocks because I want it to feel like a nice overgrown garden kind of vibe and I think leaves just look so effortlessly cute in a build, especially with the cherry blossom. And after the roof was done, I went around and placed some hanging lanterns so it looked absolutely adorable and inviting at night too. 
Doesn't that just look so cute? Oh my goodness. All right, day 68. Let's get to work on this garden. So I'm gonna leave about two blocks around the whole thing and I think it's gonna benefit from a border. I want the garden to look super intentional and not just like a few flowers grew here randomly. Uh, so let's add the border. And I think a little fence gate would be cute to enter each side of this. Cute. I'm also going to take out this middle section here and fill it with these stone bricks. Mm, I think it needs to be one wider all the way around. Yeah, I think that's good. And I think these azalea leaves could look really cute in the corner here. Does that look good? Actually, I think that does look good. Okay, let's leave it at that. Let's put that all the way around. <laughs> Also, how cool are these cherry sapling things? They're part of one of the mods, I think, so that they can have like, like be an actual sapling. Like if I bone mealed these, they wouldn't turn into a tree, but they are super cute. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm changing my mind again. I want, I want these closer together. I want them in these spots. I know it doesn't look particularly great like that but i want to surround it with other stuff that's like taller so like maybe some bamboo or something so i think those need to go in that space oh my goodness i've been so indecisive the sun is going down and i've barely done anything today <laughs> okay very nice all done let's take a break till tomorrow so today i'm just going to plant some flowers and some bamboo and some other stuff so Let's get the bamboo up here and let's put some string on top so that it doesn't get super, super tall. And let's do the same all the way around. And now that all the bamboo is added, I want to add little ponds next to all of this. Now I'm pretty much just going to do the same thing again all the way around. And now that all of those are dug out, I've just placed a few more blocks so that I can make an infinite water source. And we can fill in all these mini ponds. And now I'm just going to place the sugar cane everywhere and I think we'll be good. And very quickly before the sun completely disappears, let's add some flowers. I think Marley approves. All right, day 70. We're getting so close to day 100 and I'm low-key scared because we are running out of time. But we gotta keep it positive here and I'm certain we'll get all the builds complete in time. I'm gonna add some cute stuff inside today like these super cute benches and some extra leaves inside. I feel like that should look good. Let's have a look. Ooh, okay, yeah, I like that. I also have these really cool path decoration things and I might be wrong. Nope, okay, I am wrong. I was gonna say you can, um, <laughs> you can add them to stairs, but I think only sometimes you can do that. But for now, I'm just gonna, um, add them like this. And also a couple random ones on here so it doesn't look as strange. And I also have these cherry half planks I think they're called oh wait no I don't want them that way I want them the other way <laughs> nice I still feel like it's missing something in the middle and I'm gonna try something it may not work and I might regret it but I think maybe taking out this putting in a dirt thing and putting a sapling in maybe we can grow a cool cherry tree in the middle Oh my goodness, that literally looks so cute. Um, unfortunately, it does block out basically all of the natural light here, but um, I don't know. I think that was worth it. I'm just going to add another lantern right here. That looks so cute. I would totally hang out here all the time. And I think Marley agrees. <gasps> I almost forgot. I want to bone meal all of the, uh, the empty spots here. <laughs> 
Although, to be honest, there is not very many. Okay, day 71. Let's oops, check our progress so far. Wow. That looks so good. We're definitely missing some pathways to these areas, but I'll do those once all of the structures are built. So today, let's get started on another structure, a cute cherry blossom nether portal. The nether might be spooky, but the portal doesn't have to be. It won't be anything too crazy, but I want to give it a cute surrounding so that it fits in with the area. So all that's left to do really for this is get down into the caves and get some obsidian. I rushed into the caves, water bucket in hand to hopefully find a big lava pool and not run into any spooky guys. Ah, go away, go away, go away. <laughs> Look at that, just what we're looking for. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to stick to the minimum size of portal. I might go a little bit bigger, so I'm definitely going to take way more than I think I need just to be safe. Okay, day 73 and let's get right into this thing. I definitely am going to go bigger than a normal portal just so it's a little bit more impressive. I think I might have enough. Let's see. Remember when I said I was going to be taking precautions since this is a hardcore series? Let's pretend I never said that. <laughs> Looks like a portal, nothing fancy yet. All right, now let's add some of the cherry wood. I'm thinking we should frame the obsidian completely to make it all cute and pink instead of spooky and purple. <laughs> now let's add some stairs here. Oh, I want to actually have them like that. <laughs> And finally for this bit, add some of these trap doors to cover up the purple as much as possible. I feel like this is coming along nicely, but the sun is setting. So let's just add these lanterns for now and then we will continue this tomorrow. On day 74, I headed back out to the portal and added the floral decorations by putting leaves around the build because leaves make everything look better. I added more trapdoors just to make it look uh, better, I guess, and also some signs for some extra detailing. And there we have it, a super cute, complete portal. Now all that's left to do is actually light it. Now this portal is not just a gateway to the nether, it's a beautiful addition to our world. I do wish I had a mod to turn the actual portal pink though. And to finish up the day, I'm just going to put a secret little potato farm under here. Mm, actually, the light may not be good here. Um, Whatever, we'll, we'll give it a go. Uh, just because my food supply is getting super low and we still have a lot more days to go. Would probably be a good idea if I also added some water to this. <laughs> Now give me some baked potatoes. And good morning, day 76. I have a brand new project today for you guys. Hopefully it doesn't take too long because we are getting super close to that 100 day mark. Anyways, let's make an enchanting room. I know I already have an enchanting room at the farm, but I want to add one here because... Well, it will look cute mostly, but also there'll be one here ready to use. Obviously first we need to plan out the layout and gather all the materials. So we'll need lots of pink and white blocks, some cherry blossom, wood, and of course, all the essentials for an enchanting room. So let's get to it. I set out to collect some birch wood, some bits of amethyst. Oh my goodness. I forgot that you need silk touch to get these things. Some quartz blocks and some more cherry blossom wood. I then spent the next few days collecting up some bookshelves, lanterns, and of course, making an enchanting table. Let's use a mix of quartz, cherry wood, and birch wood to create a beautiful base for this room. Obviously the foundation sets the stage for the whole build, so I gotta make sure it's perfect. And there we go, what a lovely chunk of blocks. Let's head to bed real quick. And good morning. Today we are going to build up the walls of this lovely enchanting room here. So let's get all the way down these stairs and get building. So let's start by building up all of these birch sections. That should be tall enough. Ouch. I don't really have the food supply to be jumping off of tall things and taking damage for the sake of it at this point of the uh, of the project. <laughs> I 
Let me just strip these top layers because I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach them from the floor. And one last damage take. And now we've just got to strip all of these towers. Nice. To be honest, I do really like how birch looks with the cherry blocks without being stripped, but for this one, we're going to strip it. And now we're just going to fill in the gaps with the leftover quartz we have. I say leftover, we have quite a lot left. That is looking great. Marley is struggling to get here. Hello. I think Marley approves of the build so far. I do feel like these bits in here might be a bit awkward later on when I'm trying to build. So I think I'm actually just going to fill the insides in with these blocks. Okay, now that's done, I'm actually going to get rid of a few of these middle pieces to make two big windows because I don't know. I feel like it just needs to be open in here a little bit more. Nice. I might widen them and make them like a whole three wide, but I don't know. Oh, I'm out of potatoes. Let's go see if the uh, the potatoes I planted the other day are finished. And they are. Isn't that great? And I have plenty to make into baked potatoes for breakfast. I'm going to leave those cooking overnight. Tomorrow I think we'll work on the roof of the enchanting room. Wow, those nights are short. It felt like I only slept for a few seconds there. Anyways, like I said, we're tackling the roof today. I want to do like a kind of rounded pointy roof type thing and i think it's going to be a bit tricky but we will give it a good go i laid out the first layer of blocks for the roof and they looked great with the walls we built yesterday next i switched it up to add some contrast and texture and it was looking even better it wasn't all smooth sailing though i had a few tricky spots where i had to maneuver around the edges but with a bit of patience, I managed to get it all sorted out and ended up with an awesome looking roof. Look at that. Doesn't that look really cool? On day 82, I started on the interior of the enchanting room. I surrounded the room with bookshelves for maximum enchant levels to start and then moved on to the decorative elements. I added flower pots with colorful flowers on the windowsills and hung some lights to give the room a warm, inviting glow. I also set up a seating area with cozy carpets to create a perfect spot for relaxing after the super hard work of enchanting items. I know I said cozy carpets, but I think this diorite could look like a rug design, maybe? Let's pretend it's carpet. And now on day 83, we're going to decorate the exterior. Here's where we landed with the interior, by the way. Very nice. Let's get started on the outside. So first, I'm going to plant some cherry blossom trees around the house. And let's put some flower beds here. Nice. I'm also going to place some lanterns outside because obviously we don't want any scary guys coming in. Oh, <laughs> apparently I can't count. <laughs> Much better. And I think a couple little benches either side of this would look super cute. I keep adding seating like I'm ever actually going to have time to sit down, but I guess we can take a rest now. I may have enjoyed resting a little too much as I spent the next couple of days just pottering around, tending to the animals and adding a few finishing touches to the build. I apparently forgot to actually put the enchant table down. Now the enchant room is complete. Let's give this table a go. Wow, so powerful. But yeah, what a lovely addition to the world that we have here. This area looks so adorable right now. The only thing that's really missing is pathways. So let's grab our tools and get to work. And oh, look, we have some visitors from the nether. Man, I really hope they like this place too. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Oh, and they bought their child. Wonderful. The next few days were all about adding the pathways to connect all of the builds. I got to work on the main pathway from the cherry blossom house to the bottom of the hill, and then I extended the path around the pond and to the fishing dock. I then made the pathway to the enchanting room, connecting the path to the gazebo garden as well, completing the route at the cherry portal. Once the pathways were complete, I filled the surrounding grass with flowers and blossoms, which brought us into day 95. So the pathways are all done. I think all that's left to do is to add some street lamps or just some lighting in general. So I'm thinking we do something like this and then this. I think that looks cute. These lanterns are also super cute. Love them. Now I pretty much just got to do that same thing maybe 10 more times. 
Wow, this area has been completely transformed from when we found it, but I think we've improved it for sure. The pathways also make it super easy to get around the build now, although not that it wasn't easy before, but like there's just a, a clear path, you know? I am so happy with how this has come together. I spent the final days running around focused on adding final touches to bring the areas to life. I planted a few more flowers and added extra details around the pond and gazebo. Marley fluttered around to keep me company as I worked and by the end of the day we were both pretty tired. But as I had finished up the final bits I stepped back and realised all of my hard work had paid off. Wow this looks so pretty in the dark, let me go see the whole thing. Oh yeah, that is super cute. Oh my gosh, look at the pond all finished. I mean, it doesn't look that much different to when we finished it earlier in the video, but like I added some more lighting and it just looks so cute. And I finally got Marley to sit on his perch properly and I think he likes it. So we started off with the first part of the cherry house and wow, does it look different now. We have this whole second floor, a balcony and a cute little animal pen. We have this gorgeous pond and fishing house, and of course, a few fishy friends. We made this lovely gazebo area with surrounding gardens and quite possibly the prettiest never portal ever. Not to mention the most extra enchanting room ever. All connected by these lovely pathways and street lamps. And let's not forget the interior of our cherry blossom house. We made a cozy cherry kitchen with a dining room and a living room to match, and this cute little study nook. We made a not so cute storage room and a crazy massive bedroom for our single bed with another lounge area just because I had space to fill. Oh, and last but not least, Marley's lovely little perch. And here we are, day 100. We finally come to the end of this incredible adventure. Marley and I have made some great memories and a gorgeous home right here. But before we say goodbye, there's someone else I wanted to show this place off to. Hi, buddy. Buddy here has been taking care of the farm whilst I've been over here working. So it's only fair for him to come and see what we've been up to, right? What do you think, bud? I think he loves it too. <laughs> I'm so proud of everything we've accomplished here and it's been amazing to share this journey with you all. Thank you for coming along. I hope to see you next time. Bye.